What's up, people? Because the Kastaplast berg is my absolute favorite approach. Maybe there's more from Kastaplast that I will enjoy. So I thought, let's play around with only Kastaplast discs. All right, hole one, 121 meter par three uphill, OB and tire right side. Very rough starting hole. We're doing two of the first, going for a crush with the first one with the gulb. Oh. I thought that was flippy. It was not. So let's go for a layup. <laughs> oh, you know what? Let's not go for a layup because I know how this one flies. This one is really flippy, even though it's a Grim X. Go, 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 go. Pass those. That's okay. That's a C2 putt. So it's decent. I'm gonna be putting with the Rieko in the K3 plastic. And I think we can expect a lot of mosquitoes. <laughs> All right, long bid on the first one. No, what? Look at that little branch that I hit. I didn't even see that sticking out. Tap in par on the first one. It's a really hard hole, so I'm okay with the par here. Next one, let's get a birdie. All right, hole two, 97 meters, straight ahead. Going with the Lutz on this one. Slight higher on the right side, come back at the end. That was more overstable than I thought. Please skip up there. Okay, it's still a putt, but I thought that was gonna flip a bit. Let's try the Falk as well. Okay, that's flippier. <laughs> All right, good to know. First part of the day, like eight, nine meters. That's nice. The good thing about the Ryaku is that it's pretty similar to my normal putting Lunas. I think the only difference is they are a bit flatter and maybe a bit shallower. But other than that, they feel pretty much the same. All right, hole three, maybe the hardest par four in the entirety of Stockholm. 255 meter par four with a really tight fairway the entire way. You need to hit the gap on the right side and then push straight and then right. So it's really difficult. Because I want a thousand rated round right there, I think I'm going for the par. Forehand layup with the gun. Mr. Bush and sit. Sit. That's okay. Now we just need to get into the gap and then we have a foreign approach. We're going with the really flippy Svea. Just lay it up in the middle of the fairway. And sit, 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 don't cut roll. Okay, it's decent, threw it a bit low, but we might be able to save a par. All right, still quite a bit to the basket. It's a forehand, straight down here and let it fade. Maybe 100, 110 meters. Which one should I go for? Um, the green one. The green one, stall. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, that was so close, skip up. Okay, that's a bit short. It's a tester, maybe 13, 14 meters. Let's give it a bid. What? What happened? What was that? Why? That's so mean. Wow, I'm speechless. All right, that's a bogey. <laughs> Back to even par. All right, hole four, 128 meter par three. Really difficult. I'm going with the Falk on a Heiser flip in the right gap. Just push it up there, get a long look for the birdie, but still an easy par. Go, 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 go. What happened? What did I hit? I didn't see it, but I hit a tree and uh, kicked right. I don't know. All right, if this goes in, you have to buy me ice cream, okay? Sure. These mosquitoes are crazy, dude. This is insane. That was not as stable as I wanted it. No ice cream. Definitely not now. Quick tapping with the mosquitoes. That's a par and we're still at even par. Are you okay, cameraman? No. You're shaking a bit. <laughs> Hole five, 105 meter par three, straight ahead. Basically only one tree in the way. Go to the right of that and you should have a birdie chance. Let's go with the Falk again. I like how it flies. Right side, high to flip, to flat. Give it a chance. Come back. Come back. No, it was too straight. Flipped a bit too much. That was a really nice throw, but unlucky. Really unfortunate spot here, but I'll give it a bid with a spin putt. No, so close. All right, another par. Now there shouldn't be as much mosquitoes, hopefully. So maybe we can concentrate. Hole six, 90 meters. You can go either right side or left side. And apparently now there's hazard in the middle as well. And OB on the road, but that's really not in play. Going Kaxisata, right side. And if I remember correctly, I used to throw this quite a bit before. I really liked it because it was really straight. So hopefully it's gonna be straight now. No, that's more stable than I thought. Please go through. Oh my God, I'm so lucky. That was stable. Maybe that's not the one that I used to throw. Oh yeah, I used to throw my dad's. It was my dad that had one. He had a K1 soft. That's a K1 glow. That makes sense. His was really straight, but that's more overstable. That's good to know. All right, I was really lucky on this one. Should be a very easy birdie. 
because I went through the hazard the entire way. That's not how you're supposed to do it. But it's still a birdie and we are officially under par. Awesome sauce. Hole seven, 95 meters it says on the T sign. I don't really think it's that far. You can either go with a forehand out wide and let it dump down or you can go in the inside gap here with a putter mid-range, something slightly overstable. Give it an and it pans out. So I'm going with the Göte and we'll do exactly that. Oh, that is more stable than I thought. That one's so far as well. Huh, maybe I should go with a putter. Let's try the Riaco instead. K1 Riaco, very straight. That's better. That should be... Oh no, it hit the last stump. That could have been an ace run if it got the skip up, but that was perfect. Riaco, tap in. And a bit far with the Yota. Let's see if we can find it. All right, 12 meters here, and I can't really jump because I have this tree in the way. Get in! <laughs> Let's go. That's such a good putt. That brings us to two down. Hole eight, par four, 132 meters. You want to go over this hill, then down the left, and then it's really straight from there. Mando over here, Obi on the road, going Falk, Pisa flip, push it down there. Should be an easy birdie if I can just hit the gap. Oh my God. I completely missed the gap. I pulled it, but I'm the luckiest person alive again. What even was that gap? I should buy a lottery ticket. That was insane. It went through everything and now it's just in the perfect spot in the middle of the fairway. I got so far down here that even though I missed the gap, I still have an eagle look. So let's go for a long jump out and try to get the eagle. Go in, go in. No, not so close. Just a bit more spin than it's in. It's another birdie. And one step closer to the 1000 rated round. I think I need minus six to get a thousand rated. And we're at minus three right now, so decent. Hole nine, 81 meters, slightly uphill, basket to the right over there, OB right of the basket. All right, this is a bit of a gamble, but I'm going Rask with the inside rim on a forehand overstable flex. Let's try it. That's so nice. Oh, that's parked. That was so good. That felt so good for the forehand. I had a rim for my middle finger and I had another rim for my pinky. No, what's it called? Index finger. Index. <laughs> no, not pinky. For my index finger, yes. I did not know that the OB was this close to the basket. So unfortunately I'm out of bounds here. And I went out like right here. Par, unfortunately. I didn't know the path was this close to the basket. Then maybe it's not a forehand anymore. Yeah, that's a hazard. Someone is trying to kill me. By the way, I still need new shoes. Someone sponsor me, please. <laughs> Hole 10. What? Oh, there's another tee. There's a new tee pad. Okay, let's play from here then. All right, new tee pad. Apparently 110 meters now. Like this one wasn't hard enough to begin with. I don't like this one. <laughs> but let's try the normal Grim instead of the Grim X. Should be more understable. But if I remember correctly, I think this one is more overstable because the Grim X is really understable. So let's give it a bit of Annie and try to get it up there. Ah, come back, come back. Okay, it was a bit more understable than I remembered. I should have thrown it flat, not with Annie. All right, long bid here. Let's give it a chance. Oh, it's so close. That was a good bid. And I feel like the tee shot was really good as well. Unfortunately, a bit too understable. Yes. Hole 11, 90 meters, par 3, downhill, slight hyzer the entire way, with a OB pond in front of the basket, going hyzer flip with the Svea. A bit inside, my foot kind of slipped, hopefully a birdie look. I thought I was a bit more left, but apparently I'm inside C1. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, did you see that? I hit the band with Heiser right there. Lucky once again. Oh my God, these mosquitoes. <laughs> Hole 12, 107 meter par three, basket over there on the left side. I'm going Falk again, because I really like it. Let's get it up there. Miss those. No, last one. Okay, I pulled it a bit. That was very unnecessary. Long look, let's give it a bid. Oh my God, I'm all over the basket. I almost broke my foot as well. Hole 13, apparently new tee pad here as well. Like this one wasn't hard enough. 96 meters, straight uphill, basket over there. Going with the Grumex again. Let's just give it some power. Ugh! Miss it. Ah! I hate this hole. This might have been the absolutely worst spot possible. I don't even know what to do from here. Let's go stall forehand, just blast it through. Hope for the best. But this is probably a bogey. Oh, I hit the gap. Is that up there? 
I can't even see where the disc landed, but I hit the gap perfect and I think that might be a par save. I'm super happy with that one. Insane par save. I had the tiniest gap, but I hit it perfect. Hole 14, 79 meters downhill. You can't really see the basket, but it's behind the hill. <laughs> OB behind the basket. I'm going very X, forehand, left gap. That's a bit too far right, but it should be a putt. That was more overstable than I remembered. <laughs> Not the best shot, but I landed right where I want to be. Just outside C1. Oh, just snuck it in left side. That's kind of a bad putt, but it's still a birdie. And we're on track for the 1000 rated round. Hole 15, 109 meter par three, straight ahead and then pushing Heiser around the corner the entire way basically. So going with the Grim. And now we have a nice tee pad here. Before there was concrete tee pads and I couldn't really commit to the shot, but now we can actually give it some power. Oh, too low. Skip around the corner, please. That might actually have done that. I threw it way too low though. But that's around the corner. And if I skipped, I might have skipped in the right direction. I got the perfect skip. Easy birdie. Really like the new tee pad. That makes this hole so much easier. Thank you, course maintenance team. Hole 16, par four, 150 meters. And because the Kaxa is the only one that I haven't thrown yet, I'll go with the Kaxa. First shot, just get around the corner and then in the middle. And from there you ha should have a straight approach. So yeah, Kaxa around the corner. That should be perfect. Hopefully didn't skip too far left. 77 meters left. And I think I'm just going straight at it with the Rieko. <sighs> Oh, that's so good. Sit, 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 sit. Oh, that's so unlucky. Should still be a birdie putt though. But that was really unlucky. Perfect shot. I didn't kick as far as I thought though. So should still be a routine putt here. Oh my God, it's so high, but it's still a birdie. And that brings us to seven down, I think. That's really good. Hole 17, par five, very soft par five though. Only 200 meters, but it's a pretty tight fairway the entire way. But if you hit the line perfect, you should have a eagle chance. So that's what I'm gonna try to do with the Grim because of the insane glide on this bad boy. Just throw it flat, maybe slight any because you want to push it right pretty far. But land in the middle and try to get the eagle. <clears throat> that's too low, but I hit the line, I think. Hopefully I'm in the fairway though. Let's see what we have. I am in the middle, but not as far as I wanted. So I still have 94 meters left, but I'm still gonna go for it. Heise flip with the Falk, get it into the gap and just get it up there. Oh my God, that got stuck in my hand. Please get out. Oh, that was so bad. It got stuck in my hand, don't. Cut, cut. Not really the best position over here, but I'm still gonna give it a run. I don't even care. Lots of branches in the way though. Get through. No. Okay. Now it's a tester for birdie instead. <laughs> All right, just inside C1. Ah! I felt it slipping out left. That's unfortunate. We're still minus seven, so. Why did I go for the eagle there? I should have just laid up for the birdie. Whatever, it's a par. And we're still at minus seven, okay. Unfortunate turn of events. Apparently they changed the last hole to a par four. So I just got a bogey. And it makes sense, it should be a par four. But I didn't know that. And I should just have laid up for the four. But now we're back to minus six. And because this is a new layout, I don't really know what score I need to get a thousand rated. So I don't know if minus six is enough. So I think we're just gonna go for the birdie here and try to get minus seven, because I think it's six or seven. <laughs> so let's be sure and try to get the birdie here. Last hole, 75 meters, slightly downhill, OB water behind the basket. And they, this is the wrong disc, wait, <laughs> uh, here it is. I'm going forehand with the Kaxa. I'm okay with fading out early. Come back, please. Be overstable. No. It's a bit of a headwind, so it turned, thought it was gonna hold better. That's unfortunate, but it's still a long look for the birdie. It's decision time. The water is really close to the basket, and I would really like to know if minus six is a thousand rated, but I don't know how to see that if I don't finish the round. So I think we're just gonna have to go for it. Let's hope. Sit, 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 sit. Oh, good stone boulder thing. <laughs> oh, that was going in the water for sure. That was better. We're just gonna have to hope that minus six is a thousand rated. But that's so stupid, not knowing that 17 is now a par four. Such a stupid mistake. Let's see if it's safe. I can see it, it's okay. Minus six, thank you. 
good stone. So now, moment of truth is minus six, a thousand rated. Hole 18, we got C2, C1, tap in. Minus six, come on. Yes, we got it. 259 and 250 is 1000 rated. So 259 should be like 1018 actually. That's really good. Is that correct? That sounds too good. Minus six. But okay, that's what you disc says. So challenge complete, I guess. 1018 rated run with only Casta Plus discs. I've heard a lot of criticism against Casta Plus that they are unreliable and a lot flippier than they should be. But I think everything flew really nice actually. I really enjoy the Kaxa and Kaxa Sata. I really like six speed discs because it feels like a mid range but it goes as far as a fairway. So I really like these ones. And the Reco, this goes so straight. Super nice disc. Stall flew really nice as well. Really overstable, really nice in the hand. Falk, really like this one. I feel like this flies almost like a bead in essence, but it goes even further. The glide on it is insane. The Lutz though, it was a bit more overstable than I thought it would be, but I think if I beat this in, it would be like a money fairway driver. And then the Guld, it's a 13 speed, so it goes really far, it's really fast, and it has surprisingly good glide, and is still overstable and reliable. Really nice distance driver, actually. And Barry X, we only threw it once, but we got the birdie. So nice overstable approach disc. And putting with the Rekos, like I said, they are very similar to the Lunas. Works really nicely. Huge shout out to this guy for sacrificing <laughs> his legs for this video. Look at the back here. Oh my God. I'm never coming back here, ever. I don't blame you. Thank you. You're welcome. But if you guys want this to be kind of like a series where I go around playing courses trying to get a thousand rated round, like this time only Casta Plus discs, maybe I should do only MVP discs, maybe only overstable discs, whatever. If you want this to be like a series, comment down below and maybe I will do what you suggest. But if you guys want to support me, check out pug.se where you can get my merch, like this cap right here all of these different designs. And you can also check out Bounce Back Disc Golf, where you can get the best disc golf towels in the game and patches and more. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you want to see next. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.